going on guys to Blake here and today I'm doing a quick video talking about karma loop and urging other people to uh, no longer do business with them this is because uh, it came to my attention that a lot of my followers um, especially followers that I referred to purchase items from karma loop which is where it really pisses me off because uh, myself included uh, have not gotten refunds on orders that they made this is Greg Selko. He's the CEO of, of uh, Karma Loop. They went bankrupt pretty much because he took venture capital money um, and he worked in Karma Loop TV and he put some money into Miss KL. Both of these things failed. I did a longer video talking about that. Now, what's really frustrating more than anything, um, besides the fact that they owe me about $350 from an order I placed that they refused to refund, is that when I refer you guys to do business with someone, I put my name next to it, and when that company goes ahead and basically neglects any sort of customer service and essentially steals money from customers, it's something that I will just simply never um, stand behind. I could give a fuck if they give me the $300 back. It doesn't matter. The point is, people that I spent my time referring to make purchases got basically scammed um, and that looks awful on me I feel awful for the people that are affected by this and I want to do a video kind of explaining about the process you have to go through it and uh, a little bit more so obviously Karma Loop knew they were gonna go bankrupt and they had a very bizarre 50% off sale uh, in which I drove a lot of traffic to because it was a great sale but they never fulfilled any of the items that they ordered originally they said it was a warehouse malfunction and then you could go ahead and submit a query to get a refund because they said it wasn't going to ship. I ordered on February 11th. I waited. I'm super patient. I'm very patient. I have patient tattooed on me. I waited until March 7th because I know how customer service is. They probably got swamped. I said, hey, um, you know, can you guys let me know about the order confirmation? No one contacted me. Eventually they said, hey, your order's not shipping. Would you like in store credit plus 50%? I said, cash refund, please, to the PayPal email. And I filled out this link. You know, fast forward now it's March 24th. I'm asking them for help, and I got no email that was going to be processed. Now they said that I had to go to the website to file a claim to get my money back. And this website is a bankruptcy claim form where essentially you're being treated a customer as a creditor who Karma Loop now as a bankrupt, Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They technically, unless they file, there's a order, there's a feeding order of people that they have to pay back. And unfortunately, the customer is at the lowest end of this totem pole. So you have to now submit an inquiry. I'm saying inquiry, weird. I'm so frustrated. To get your money back. Now, you get a notice in the mail that your inquiry has been there. You get the notice, and on the notice it says you have to appear in court, otherwise your claim not be held. So over $300... I have to go to Washington DC to appear with a lawyer to get it back now what's awful is just as a person of principle I could do that but what's more awful is the people that might have lost fifty dollars or a hundred dollars where they might have spent money from their birthday or spent money from like a job that they work hard for who are literally getting fucked out of their money and for that reason I'm very upset I'm extremely frustrated and you'll hopefully see and I know many other YouTubers and people that have promoted Karma Loop. Keep in mind, this is a company where I've driven them, you know, almost $100,000 in sales. So it's not like I'm, I'm nobody there. And I'm just, you know, getting the short end of the stick. Um, and it's the same way they've treated all their customers. And I think the icing on the cake was the audacity. This woman, Alexandra, reaches out for me, the director of lifestyle marketing at Karma Loop, to say that she'd be a perfect addition for me to be a YouTube hauler. Now, this really pisses me off because I've already fucking done a haul for them. It's like they have no fucking clue who they're like reaching out to they're just basically cold emailing and they're going to offer me credit to their site probably more credit than they owe me to then refer my audience to go purchase that karma loop and go through this process so it's an absolute joke a lot of people have been tweeting me asking if karma loops legit they are not legit they owe so many people money right now and it's clearly as evidence in my order and many other people's orders that it's not a legitimate company. If you're in the same boat as me and you paid it in a credit card or a PayPal, open up a claim with your bank as soon as possible and open up a PayPal claim as soon as possible. A lot of people are wondering, are there alternatives? There are. Outlook is great. It's paired with Nordstrom Rack, so Outlook's a great site for that. 
all their inventory is legit the company is not bankrupt their selection changes all the time uh, and their vendor and buying power is behind Nordstrom which is a huge company you don't have to worry jack threads also super comparable I've had zero issues with them everything ships on time when they uh, drop an item out of your cart one time I ordered something they didn't have it they offered me a $10 credit and a 20% off coupon they've been fantastic so if you want to work with a real company and it's similar stuff I know Karma Loop offers some things between these two sites they have everything Karma Loop has and you won't have to deal with filing a court order to get a refund for items that never shipped so I wanted to do this video just to help out other people that are I'm sure just as frustrated as I am uh, and it's a huge huge slap in the face uh, to me to my viewers and to other YouTube uh, people that have been promoting Karma Loop to have to go through this run around um, you know for me it's three hundred dollars for other people it's it's four figures it's five figures so you can only imagine you know kind of the lashback that they've been having so quick video actually it's probably a longer video definitely um, definitely had a rent rant rent rant a little bit. I can't pay my rent karma loop no um, definitely a longer rant but I wanted to share it with you guys so keep like signing out catch you guys soon peace guys